Good Saturday. We're finally seeing some sunshine after a break from yesterday's rain. We are looking at some lingering showers just through the morning, especially for the high Sierra with some snow showers, but otherwise more sunshine to come by the mid morning lunchtime hours. We'll see the sunshine today, but showers do start coming in by Sunday afternoon, and this is just the first of several systems that are expected to move in this entire week. So let's get to it as the system here moves with the snow showers further south. We'll see some sunshine as we start getting closer to mid morning lunchtime and clear skies pretty much for the entire day. This is a low pressure system that was creating some of the rain as of Friday and has now since moved toward the southeast and then just a bit of clearing. You can see over the ocean here. This will bring us about a 24 hour a period of clearing sunshine for mostly clear skies, but right behind it we do have a series of clouds that are starting to move in. This will start coming in by Sunday afternoon right around lunchtime 12 o'clock or so. We'll start to see the clouds and then right behind it and underneath it. You can see this. This is where we're starting to draw in moisture, some atmospheric river moisture, basically what we also call Pineapple Express when it originates near Hawaii. This will be drawn into this low pressure system and brought into the Pacific Northwest first down into Northern California into Southern California by Sunday afternoon into Monday. So this is going to cause quite a bit of rainfall, but mostly more lower elevation snowfall is what we're going to be concerned with because of the break in between the systems and a lack of cloud coverage that'll let in some cooler air from the north. That cold air will help settle in and at least bring in and change a lot of that moisture from rain to snowfall at lower elevations. So let's talk about this. We move through Saturday. It looks nice. Most of the snow leaves. We get into Sunday. We finally get to lunchtime and this is where the clouds roll in right off shores where the rain will start to move in and take a look here. We'll stop it as we get to about the evening hours 3 to 6 p.m. You'll start to see the formation of snow at the higher elevations with some heavy rainfall moving in. You can see it in the darker shades and into that yellow shade there. We'll get heavy downpours moving into Sunday evening. So if you're trying to get things done after grocery shopping, bringing everything in a lot of heavy rain. Now watch the snow as we move through the overnight hours. There it goes at the lower elevations, pushing all the way down past Placerville, Arnold, Sonora, Yosemite with a lot of snowfall. So this lower elevation snowfall continues from Sunday night into Monday morning where we can see the snow fall, falling even as low as 500 feet to 1000 feet. Now the lower elevation snow isn't expected to accumulate really at much of anything. We'll see most of the accumulation above 3000 feet and after this passes through Monday 10 a.m. Notice things start to get nice again. Sunshine and a little bit of that moisture just offshore. We'll fast forward here and we'll take a look here at the winter weather advisory that will be in effect till 10 a.m. to about noon because of that system that's pushing through. And again, we could see about uh, snow accumulation above 3000 feet, four to eight inches expected. And again, after 3 p.m. into Monday around 10 a.m. Now, this is how much we can expect last in eight to 12 inch in, inches, I should say. Carson Ebbets, eight to 12 inches, six to eight Donner Echo Sonora Pass. So we are looking at quite a bit of snowfall in just one system, and then we'll start to get that rain. Let's talk about how much we can accumulate into the valley because this rain will start coming in pretty quickly in that next 24 hour period. And then we'll see this system by Tuesday night. We get a short break from Monday afternoon into Tuesday afternoon, and then by Tuesday night, another major system arriving with heavy snowfall. But look at the snow. You're seeing it down to valley floor areas all the way up toward Redding into Oregon and all the way up the Pacific Northwest. This is along I-5, so a lot of rain and snowfall on the way. That system pushes through with heavy rain and then scattered showers continue through Thursday. Finally, Friday, we get a small break in everything where you see just a bit of that clearing and another system right behind it. That next system comes in by Saturday with showers Sunday, Monday. Looks like we get another round of heavy rain and even snowfall. So we'll have intermittent breaks between some of these, but they're not going to last very long, not even 24 hours at times. So do expect to see a lot of rain on the way. Let's see how much rain we can get in the next 24 hours or so. We'll see about a third of an inch to a half inch in the valley, Grass Valley, about three quarters of an inch. But from the next really Sunday through Thursday, those following four days, you can see as much as almost two inches of rainfall potentially expected from Sacramento, a Rio Vista. And look at some of these numbers closer 
toward the Bay Area. Three and a half inches of rain. Now, these are just initial computer models that are coming out. So these can fluctuate, get much lower, get much higher. But we are seeing a hydraulic outlook that will be in play here for the areas along the coastline. Basically, meaning we're getting so much rain will be inundated that there may be some flooding. So that's what the hydraulic outlook will be for the Bay Area. And take a look, you're seeing those numbers way up past three inches of rainfall. Auburn, two inches. Uh, you're looking really most areas close to that two inches of rain in the next four days. So a lot to look forward to. And hopefully we don't see major flooding, debris floats, mudslides, that kind of thing happening. We have enough breaks in between, fingers crossed, that the ground can actually uh, bring in some of that water and it becomes saturated. Temperatures for the Saturday, upper 40s to low 50s, mid 50s and I on 37 Truckee and South Lake Tahoe, right around 35 degrees. We will see, I have snowflakes every single day and that's because we'll see on and off snow. So whether it's Tuesday night snow or Monday morning snow, it's happening, even if there might be some sunshine between the two. Now, temperatures will be right around those low 30s as we move through the week. Bay Area for your Saturday, upper 50s and low 60s, same as the San Joaquin Valley in the upper 50s. Sacramento Valley, upper 50s, a few low 60s today. And then we'll see the next few days in the low 50s. Intermittent rain, like I mentioned, and then we'll continue to see more rain in the forecast for next week.